Here we have the Orc Fighter Bomber Sprue from Aeronautica Imperialis. So with this you can build two completely different Orc Fighter Bombers. So you've got different wings, different tails, different fuselages, different noses, different turrets, different ordnance, lower, uh, ordnance loadouts, different tails. So I'm going to separate this from the sprue, clean it all up and get it ready to build. So I'll be back in a second. So this is what two fighter bombers cleaned up looks like. Worth mentioning, there are lots and lots of different options for building this. You've got different wings, different tails, different top and bottom pieces on the fuselage, uh, different engine pieces for the back fuselage, different noses, uh, even these little arrestor hooks or rear or landing gear things are different. So let's start putting all of this together. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to focus on the action. Let's test fit these before assembly. Yep, that's how that goes on there. Two noses. Okay, that's the noses built. Time to start working on fuselages. So these are interchangeable. So like so. But also like so. So to be fair, the fighter bomber almost everything has multiple options. So let's get this fuselage glued together. So let's do this other one. Like so. Give that a minute to dry. While that's drying, let's assemble these engines. So at the back of the fuselage you've got a slot for popping in an engine. Again the engines are both different. The nozzles that go with them are both different. But you can see there's a key here, so it's got to go in facing a certain direction. That's the engine to put together. So let's have a look at... Ooh, I just discovered that you need to put this nose in first. Ah! Can I prise either of these open? No, in that case I'm going to have to whack that in quite hard. Yep, that's doable. So, lesson learnt there. Bang. Fuselages and noses assembled. 
Okay, so don't make the mistake I made there. Right, engines pop in like that. Very smooth fit. So let's pop that baby in there. So actually, with all the different things you can customise on this kit, you can probably get more different builds out of it than you can with the DACA jets. So that's the engines popped in. We've now got the landing gear. So let's have a look at where that fits. And it fits like so. So we want... to go in there. And the other one. To go in there. Right, that's the fuselage sections done. We're now going to move over to doing the tails. So we've got Two tail sections, both of which are going to involve gluing these sections on. So again, looking at this, I think you might even be able to swap these around. Let's find this. Yep, I think you very much can. So this kit is really customizable. Tail section. section that's two tail sections done so we're now in a position to start looking at the wings so, because it's going to be so fiddly to do this once I put them on the plane itself, I'm going to put the ordnance on here before I glue the wings in. So, I'm doing these as fighter rather than bombers. So they've got extra guns. And rockets for firing at enemy planes. That makes these 25 points each. I certainly think the extra guns, if you want to do the fighter bombers as fighters, is pretty much a compulsory choice. gives you 10 dice at short range. So even if you're needing sixes to hit, odds are you'll get some. And certainly it plays into using these as 
as you got in World War II, bomber destroyers. So thinking particularly of things like ME-410s, where you've got a twin-engined fighter that is set up to attack uh, big bombers with lots of defensive turrets that can take a lot of punishment. So, Orc fighter bombers are still fast, particularly compared to Marauders. Which makes using them as, say, bomber destroyers, or even as heavy superiority fighters, actually a practical thing to do. I mean, you might not put two sets of rockets on them, uh, to go with the extra guns, but one set of rockets is, a, is decent for making sure you've got that extra firepower for punching through things like the five structure points on Marauders. So we've now got I'll leave these turrets unglued because then you can take them out for painting and rotate them around. So let's have a look at how the wings fit in like this and that is beautiful. tail and we can pop that on. And bang, we have an assembled fighter bomber. So let's assemble the other one. That is your fighter bombers. Pop a jack jet alongside for comparison. Significantly bigger and nastier. So they're about equal with marauders. You could go fighting two superiority built fighter bombers against two marauders and it'd be a fairly even match. I mean yeah, you've got a lot more guns so if they start tailing you, you've got something to fire back, you've got a turret in case they get round at you, you've got ten dice at the front, you've got rockets, they've got Avenger bolt cannons and they've got rockets. That would be a pretty even matchup. You don't have as many manoeuvres, you've only got five manoeuvres to their six, but you've got an awful lot of firepower. Hmm. So yes, that is building the Orc Fighter Bombers from Aeronautica Imperialis. If you've liked this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want to chat, leave a comment below. But otherwise, good gaming.